is Rondo. He's a robot boy. Android. Robo. Robo. Yeah, robo. So anyway, tell me and Tabo cave his nose in by hitting him with the door at the local Walmart. Hello, owners. Please call us your parents. That is weird. Nope. Anyway, I'm going to mess with the Rubik's Cube now. Why did we have to do so many fist characters? Achievement unlocked. Sadness. Rondo still has a nosebleed, by the way, except now he's out in public having a panic attack for the first time while everyone screams to call the cops. Help, it's an Then he sleeps in an alleyway. Hey, stranger in an alleyway, you are way too fucking tall. Are you gonna stab us? N no. Cool, wanna do crimes? That's not a question. Achievement unlocked, friendship. Except, uh-oh, now Rambo is sad because turns out Tommy is Roboy racist. Achievement unlocked, uh, um, fuck, uh. Tommy tries to get Rambo to eat, not knowing he's secretly a different race. Rambo's a very anxious boy. And then Tommy and Tubbo find out Roboy is a Roboy, and Tommy gets angry because of trauma and possible abandonment issues and robot racism. Is this joke of Tommy being racist going to go? I have no idea, but it'll probably depend on whether or not Ronbu can camouflage and change skin color, and I will not say what changes what. Ronbu cries like the Holocaust survivor he is and runs to Technoblade, who takes him into an abandoned church less warehouse where he forces him into war, only to immediately take him out of it when he realizes Ronbu doesn't know how to fight. Achievement unlocked! Brain damage! Ronbu and Tommy and Tubbo meet back up, and Tommy is fucking pissed. Bench Trio beats the shit out of some cops. Fuck yeah, crime! However, they get away and are now on the run. Oh look, Savnep is a decent person. For real this time. Or am I lying? <laughs> whoop de fucking do now everyone thinks Rombu is a kidnapper. Tommy's surprisingly okay with this for a split second. Except it's only the humans that think this, because all the androids think Tommy and Tubbo are the ones kidnapping Ronbu, when in reality they scared a cop for life and are just on the run. They walk for a long time, while Tubbo's mom and her girlfriend try and look for the three, and then they meet Carl One, who we later find out has a lot of siblings. They walk even more, and Tommy and Tubbo argue over Ronbu while standing right in front of him. Are they arguing over who gets to marry him? No. Will that be a later argument? They also play fight with snow, since it is December, before more walking and eventually running into Los Kansas, the place that made me confuse that for El Rapids way too many fucking times! Meanwhile, Puffy and Nikki are still trying to find the three children while avoiding the cops as well. Oh, and there's this guy named Charlie who is really friendly but has mad brain damage, and turns out Quack Bitch is taking advantage of that. Purple and Puns told Tommy that it's not nice to be racist, and oh hey, they're both actually half-decent people! They all play Roboy games, and then Tommy proceeds to question why he just forgot Rombu was a Roboy. It's because you like it whether platonically or romantically, motherfucker, except your parents! Rombu ends up having a seizure for the first time and stops functioning. It's like Ender walking, but worse. Remember when I said purpled and puns were good in this? Yeah, no, they're playing Uno. It's time to expand my organ collection. No. Ronbo almost bleeds out in the snow, in a moment so sad you'd think he was actually about to die, but then you remember the author is a Ronbo apologist and let go of that breath you were holding as you sip on some tea. Ant and Red take the children in. Also, George face plants into the snow, causing the officers to turn back to Detroit. If you want to mention any of that. Congratulations! It's a cult! The cult then gives Ronbo a panic attack and mistakes it for him being in danger, which in turn causes him to have a seizure again and temporarily stop working. Tommy and Tubbo get their asses handed to them when they're wet. <clears throat> human privilege doesn't work and they can't save Ronbo from the cult that gave him said panic attack. Then a bunch of politics slash maybe politics happen as the robots prepare to kill Roboy's two best and only friends. But it's okay because we meet Carl's siblings, Carl 2, 3, 4, and 5, and now they're all hiding in bushes as Ronbo continues to have seizures. And that's the story of how Tommy learns how to not be racist. Gee, I should hope Nid doesn't come up with another chapter since I'm done posting this.